What's going on guys? It is your boy King Skurge here and it's um, tonight I'm giving you guys a long awaited Raid Raptor deck profile um, for this format. I know there's a ban list right around the corner soon um, but yeah let's get started guys. Um, I've been waiting to do this for a really long time so without further ado let's just get into the monsters. So First sponsor we're playing, we are playing three Raid Raptor Tribute Lanius. Now I'm going to just try to sum up the effects. Um, basically Raid Raptor Tribute Lanius, what it does is, if it's normal or special summon, you get to Foolish Burial a Raid Raptor. Any Raid Raptor card. Usually it's going to be Mimicry. Um, and then if they're in the main phase too, if it's destroyed, you can uh, basically add a rank up magic spell from your graveyard to your hand. Uh, you, it's the first effect that you always want to get off, and it's probably the most probably the most likely thing that someone's going to imperma ash. But this is the card that gets your plays going. Next, I play three strangled lanes. Um it's a free level 4 extender. If you control a Raid Raptor, you can special summon this card. Um, but for the rest of the turn, you can't special summon except for Dark dark Monsters. Um, it's a free extender. And then if you control a Dark Monster with a... Uh, if you control an Exiz Monster with a Dark Exiz Monster's material, you can special summon one Raid Raptor from your graveyard. But negate its effects so it's very good you need to play three of it you can get away with playing two but i play three because it's a free extender this deck is about rank four spam another card you have to play three of is pain lanius now this card is level one but in your hand but basically what happens is you target a raid raptor monster you control and then it be special take damage equal to its attack or defense, whichever is lower. And then you special summon it, and then it becomes that rank, that monster's level. So basically, if you target a level four, you special summon it. You take damage, special summon it, and then it becomes level four. So uh, it's another extender. You need to play three of it. Last of the three odds of the only Raid Raptor card I'm not, the only non Raid Raptor card, I'm playing three Danger Mothman. Um, for those of you who don't know what Danger Mothman does, it's basically like all the dangers. You can disc you can reveal it in your hand, discard a card, your opponent picks a card for you to discard, and if it's Danger Mothman, you get to. Um, both players draw and discard one. If not, you get to special summon it. So it's a draw card, and it's our level 4, so again, it helps you out with extenders. And there's a few cards you want to have engraved, so it's just better to have some of them engraved. That's why I play 3 of it. Next for the 2 offs, I only play 2 Mimicry Lanius. I'm honestly considering bumping this down to 1, but 3 is too much. 2 is just fine, because you're going to be foolish in this anyway. Um, basically, during your main phase, you can increase, the, if it's normal, normal or special summon, you can increase the levels of all Raid Raptor monsters you control by a 1. Um, and then if it's full, if it's sent to the graveyard, you can banish it and then add any Raid Raptor card from your deck, deck to your hand. So it searches. So you're going to be usually be sending this off a of Mimicry or Foolish Burial to get a search. I'm sorry, you're going to be searching off of Tribute, tribute Lanius. Sorry, get my cards mixed up. <laughs> Next I play 3 Vanishing Lanius. Now Vanishing Lanius is very simple. Uh, once per turn you can special summon one Raid Rap level 4 or lower Raid Raptor monster from your hand. And it is a soft once per turn, so if you have 3 of them on field, you can use all their effects at once. Again, Raid Raptor is about spamming the ball with Xyz and going into big boss monsters and stuff. I only play two Raiders Knight, or Raiders Wing, I'm sorry. Um, 
Raider's Wing is a... This card is great. I don't think you need to play the three of, but two of is fine. One of... I feel like two is per the perfect ratio. So, basically, this card is always treated as a Raid Raptor Phantom Knights card. Which is really cool. Um, if this card's in your hand or, hand or graveyard, you can detach one XZ material from a dark Xyz monster you control. Special summon it, but banish it when it leaves the field. And then a dark Xyz monster that has this card as material, gains the following effects. Your opponent can't target target this card with card effects. So basically, if it has any Dark Exceeds monster, your opponent can't target it. So usually if you make this with four Strix, it becomes Imperm proof and Spaler proof and stuff. So uh, this is a very helpful card, and again, it helps extend your plays. Next, I know most people don't play this, but I like playing two... Um, I like playing two Last, uh, last Strix. So what Lastrix does is quality. So what Lastrix does is if your if a monster you control battles or raid raptor you can special summon it and then you gain a hundred life points for each spell and trap in your graveyard and then you contribute it you contribute it and special summon a Raid Raptor exists from your extra deck, but negate its effects, and it's shuffled into it's put back in your extra deck during the end phase. So it's just kind of a little thing that you, little gimmick that you can do. Um, I like playing it as a two of. Helps get cheat out some of your Raid Raptors and use it for link material and stuff like that. One singing, you only need one. Uh, if you control the Xyz monster, you can special summon it. You can only use the spec once per turn. One Heal Eagle. If you play two of this, I don't play any rank 3 Raid Raptors, which it's also a special summon if all monsters you control are Raid Raptors. It's a free summon. You just play for Link Fodder. Or at least I play for Link Fodder. I play one Necro Vulture. Recovers a rank up magic. Doesn't come up much, but... Um, yes, uh, once per turn you can target a rank up, tribute, tribute one raid after a monster, target a rank up magic spell card in your graveyard, and then add it to your hand. And then you can't special something except for the rest of turn, except for its effect of rank up magic. So, usually, you're not going to use this effect, but it's a card that comes in handy. One Zephyros because you only need the one Zephyros. Bounce a card back, take 400, and summon itself from grave. Only use the effect once per duel. Now, now for the Phantom Knight. I do play a small Phantom Knight engine package because rank up, because you know Shay and Yuto were best friends in Arc V, so you have to play rank up Magic. You have to play the Phantom Knight package. Um, now I play obviously the one, one silent boots, it's a free special summon if you control a, a phantom knight, which you're going to summon, you're usually going to control rusty, you're going to usually put this in grave, so you can banish this from grave to add one phantom knight spell, and this is very important because one phantom knight spell or trap from deck to hand, so usually you can search fog blade or the uh, rank up magic spell. One of them. I play the one, and then I play, of course, play the one ancient cloak. Um, you could target one dark monster on the field, on your field, switch it to defense mode, gain 800 attack and defense, and then you can add one phantom, the phantom knights card from your deck to your hand by banishing from grave. Again, very important because there are different cards that you can search and that one can't search the other. And then, I lastly, I personally play one copy of the Phantom Knight of Stained Greaves. Now, some I know some of you are probably going to be wondering, what the hell is this man on? Hear me out, alright? This card can potentially, this card saved me a game, it saved my combo. 
because okay here's what it does if the if if the basically if a phantom Mike's monster is special summoned to your field except your damage step you can summon it to your field and then if you do it increase the level by one okay that's cool and then you can banish from your graveyard special summon a phantom monster from your um from your hand and then increase the level by one so if you if you open up with like a boot or some shit that or a cloak or you open up with some of your garnets um in your hand you can actually trigger this effect and keep in mind you can also go into raider's wing to or uh, use raider wing because raider's wing is treated as a phantom knight and a raid raptor so if you summon raider's wing you can special this from hand and then you have a free another monster for link fodder or another quick rank for xz's so that's why i play it as a one of it has helped me i'm telling you it sounds nuts but it works all right next to the spell traps we play of course i typically play three allure because it's every monster in your deck is dark so it's not really that much of a it's a lore it's a good card all right then i play one living fossil now again this is just for it's a it's another free monster reborn yeah you negate the monster effects but and banish it will leave the field but who cares because it's going to be used for xz summons anyway so who really gives a crap it's uh, another rank four extender Next, I play the one rank up magic soul shade force. This card helps you go into Cyber Dragon Affinity. That's why this card is kind of pricey right now. It's like five or six bucks. Basically, you pay half your life points, target one Raid Raptor monster in your graveyard, special summon it, and then you can XZ summon one XZ's monster that's two ranks higher using that monster, the first monster you, you control is XZ's material. So you can. Um, you can technically target a four strix which is a rank four and then you could technically go into cyber dragon infinity assuming you didn't use assuming you're not locked in anything i don't play infinity in this deck because of that reason but it's definitely an option i'll explain the extra deck in a moment i play one skip force basically you target one rank raid raptor monster on the fields you could that you control Special summon one Raid Raptor monster that's two ranks higher than the uh, attached using the target as Xyz material. And then during your main phase after the turn, this card was sent to the graveyard. You can banish this card and one Raid Raptor monster from your graveyard. Target one Raid Raptor Xyz monster in your graveyard and special summon it. You're not going to use the second effect, you're only going to use most of these rank up magics once. <coughs> Excuse me. Next, I play one foolish for your mimicry, and again, a lot of your stuff kind of needs to be in the grave. It kind of helps out a lot. One monster reborn, another play extender. One raid raptor's death. Basically, if you control two more raid raptors, you can search a raid raptor card. Next, I play one rank up magic, or I'm sorry, the Phantom Knight's rank up magic launch. Now, there was a reason why this card was banned, but I used this to go into Kaliuga. You can play Satellite Cannon Falcon, but you can go into DDD Kaliuga, which is really stupid. I mean, you go into that, you pretty much win the duel. Um, you target an Xyz monster, a Dark Xyz monster you control, special summon one Dark Xyz monster that's one rank higher using this using this card, the rank up magic spell card, and um and the, so basically the Dark Xyz monster that you summon is going to have two material because it's going to attach this and itself. 
So, for instance, let's say I had a Time Thief Redoer on the field. That's a dark. You activate this, target the Redoer. It's a rank 4, so I'd be able to summon a rank 5. And then it would have two materials. And then you could banish this card from your graveyard to uh, target a dark Xyz monster with no material. And then uh, special sum and then attach this card as material as well. Next, I play the better rank up magic. So the Phantom Knight's rank up magic force. Now this one, during your main phase you could target one Dark Xyz monster you control, banish any number of dark monsters from your graveyard to special summon either one Xyz dragon, um, Raid Raptor Xyz monster, or Phantom Knight's Xyz monster by using that dark monster's you control as material. So basically you can use this to go, if you have a rank 4 you can banish 6 monsters and go into ultimate falcon. Um, assuming you have a raid raptor, phantom knight or whatever. You're going to use this to use it to go into requiem. Um, but yeah, you only need one. And for the traps, I only play, I play 2 fog blade, it's a monster negate and it's a continuous trap. Target one monster your opponent controls, and then negate its effect. Or target one face-up monster on the field, and negate its effects. Can't be targeted. Can't be selected for attack target, and its effects are negated. Um, pretty cool. You can use your own monster to save yourself. It's pretty cool. And then the one shade brigadine. I think one is all you need. Um, personally, you you could activate it to turn it set. And then you special summon as a level four, and then you use it to go in ex more Xyz plays. And then one more card I forgot to mention actually. Now I don't have these, but this is actually supposed to be cross out designator. Assuming you have the room. Um Going first, I would play Cross Up Designator. Going second, I would play Ash Blossoms. It's up. It's up to your personal, personal choice. But going second, this is like the only hand trap that I would consider playing. Going second, um, but going first, you should. You can do one cross. You could do one call by and two cross out, because this deck is a glass cannon and it's very. Um, it loses to like Valor Imperm so. That's up to you though, uh, but yeah, these are going to be either cross up designators or ash blossoms. So it's up to you how you want to do that. So that runs out the main deck, guys. Let's talk about the extra deck. So starters, I play two copies of four Strix. You only need two copies, basically two level fours. It's a soft once per turn. You detach one of these material, search a level 4 wind beast. Self explanatory, gains 500 attack and defense for each, for each um, wing beast monster you control. It's a soft one for turn, that's why this card is good. Next, I play one Raider's Knight. Takes two level 4 dark monsters. And what this card does is you can detach one of these materials, special summon either that's one rank higher or lower, Phantom Knight, Xyz Dragon, or Raid Raptor, Xyz Monster that's either one one rank higher or lower. Typically, typically what I would summon I uh, you would summon Arc Rebellion. Um, yeah, you would summon Arc Rebellion, uh, for sure, because Arc Rebellion is amazing. I don't play Arc Rebellion in this variant right now. Um, it's the, I play Stranger Falcon, but if Arc Rebellion is good for going second, if you're trying to kill them. But yeah, very good. I play one Stranger Falcon for the rank 5 that you can summon 
off of uh, Raiders Knight. Um, this card is okay. I really want to try a Blaze Falcon, but I don't have one of those. So, but basically, it takes two level five monsters. It fixes Xyz summon using a Raid Raptor monster as Xyz monster's material. Pardon, pardon me. Basically, you can detach one of Xyz material, target one monster your opponent controls, destroy it, inflict damage equal to your opponent equal to its original attack. Um, and then it special summons a Raid Raptor, Raid Raptor mo Xyz monster in your graveyard, and then attaches it as material when it dies. Also, one more thing I forgot to mention about Raiders Knight is it's treated as a Raid Raptor Phantom. It's also treated as a Raid Raptor and Phantom Knights card as well. Just a heads up. And of course, we have I play the Requiem package. I play the One Dark Rebellion and its upgraded form, One Dark Requiem. Dark Rebellion, two level fours, detach two materials to. Have a monster's attack, and then he steals the attack. Pretty simple. And then Requiem, you're going to use this with either one of the rank-up magic cards. But Requiem, basically, you can detach one Xyz material to drain a monster's attack to zero, and then he gains that attack. And then he has, if he has Dark Rebellion as Xyz material, he becomes a two to three car, two to three material monster negate. Once per turn during either player's turn. When your opponent activates the monster effect, you can detach one of season material, negate the activation, and destroy it. So, very good. And then also you can then special summon an Xyz monster from your graveyard as well. Like I said, I don't play CDI, so Cyber Dragon Infinity. I don't play it, but instead I play one Revolution Falcon. This card is heavily underestimated. This card can win you games on its own. I'm not kidding. So if it's Xyz summoned using an Xyz monster material, you can detach one Xyz material to blow up a monster. And again, flick damage equal to your opponent equal to its original attack. And then you can also detach one Xyz material. This card can attack every single one of your monsters, opponent's monsters, once each. Oh yeah, and then here's the kicker that people seem to forget about. If this card battles a special summon monster, you can make that opponent's monster attack and defense is zero permanently so your opponent so basically you summon this and then you crack your knuckle and be like <laughs> so you can swing over everything chaos max no problem uh attack zero you take two thousand attack zero yeah you can just swing over everything so plus you this is the target that you're going to use to go into um uh, go into off of the rank up magic
comes out, but Beat Cop is just kind of here for Link Fodder. Um, if you use two Dark Monsters, you contribute a monster to give it a counter. Per basically, a monster with a counter, basically, if it would be to serve a battle card effect, you can move the counter instead. So, it's, it's kind of filler. And then, the MVP, Y Strix, uh, basically two level four wing beasts, dark wing beasts, and then basically if a raid raptor exceeds monsters effect is activated, you can you're forced to set a rank up magic from your um, deck. If it's a quick play spell, you can it can be activated immediately this turn. Also, um, you at when it's exceed when it's link summoned, you can add one level four dark wing beast monster you special summon it i'm sorry you special summon it and then but negate its effects and it can't be used for link material but yes y strix is a very good card if you're not playing y strix you're not playing this deck right so all right guys so that's it for the deck profile i really got i really hope you guys enjoy and as always make sure you guys like comment subscribe for more content and i appreciate you guys all Later, guys.